surprise, surprise. How about that, King? I don't think it's fair. We see what they're doing, don't you? They're trying to make up for Brutus the Barber Beefcake's shortcomings. They said he was the weak link, and now he's trying to come up with some sort of mask. I just don't think it's fair. How about that? It's not fair. Should we break out the violins much on that? But I don't think the Mega Maniacs are worried about it. They got the momentum, but he ain't get uh, married themselves, so to speak. And if they haven't, Jimmy Hart, I believe, is going to finish the job. The Mouth of the South, now the manager of the Mega Maniacs. Who knows more about Money Incorporated than the man who led them to the title they now possess, perhaps temporarily, Jimmy Hart. How many teams has he led the title? How many men has he managed, and how many men has he stabbed in the back? That's what Jimmy Hart's famous for. I know firsthand. And besides, I reminded you last week, the Ides of March. Beware the Ides of March, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yes, and I doubt that very seriously. Brutus the Barber Beefcake and Hulk Hogan are friends to the end. I don't think this particular Brutus is going to turn on Hulk Hogan, unlike, of course, Brutus turning against Caesar, as you're making reference to. That's what Caesar thought, and the Oracle told him it was going to happen, and he wouldn't believe it. Well, I'm the Oracle, I'm telling you, but Hulk Hogan won't believe it. Let's not get into your sex life now, King. I yeah. think that, uh... Let's not get anything for Trump Toho. There they go now, and they have a follow-up. Papa Shango destroying his opponent. Papa Shango really coming on here. He wants a spot at WrestleMania 9 too. Roman yeah. Coliseum type situation. Everybody wants to be a part of it. Yeah, they do. Papa Shango against Mark Ming opening up things here this week. And the WWF action getting hot and heavy as we approach WrestleMania. Each individual wanting to show everyone else their very, very best. The momentum continues to build. And what a magnificent sight that will be. The real Caesar will be green with envy if he saw the king of wrestling, Jerry Lawler, leading that grand procession, followed by, of course, Macho Man way in the back down to WrestleMania 9. It'll be great, won't it? Well, I have to see that. I will be leading the procession, won't I? I have to see that. I can't see anything like you can see it. Uh, I'll be with the Vestal Virgins, I'm sure. Oh, my goodness, a shoulder breaker. And this man, Papa Shango, almost broke Mark Ming in half. Forget about it. You know what Papa Shango's saying right now? He wants to be at WrestleMania 9. He wants to do the thing. Yeah, possibly. Oh, no. I don't think Papa Shango likes people who lead processions. Take a look at this. Look at that maneuver. And the skull of smoking you can bet at WrestleMania. WrestleMania itself's going to be smoking, rocking, and rolling at Caesar's Palace in approximately three weeks. Everyone looking forward to the Roman. Oh! Yeah, the fireworks are going to be going off, all right. Absolutely, and that's just a little about what's coming up. It's going to get hot and heavy. 